Hi everyone, this week we're going to move on to build our last three cards in our tutorial. Um, we have built so far this card, which is our main card, as well as the corresponding feature hero card, which we'll showcase by adding that class. All right. So either we've made the feature hero class as well as this main card class. But for the rest of the semester, or uh, the rest of these uh, tutorials, if you want to use the images and the uh, text that I've created here, I've generated a set of images and card HTML for you to download. So in the problem set Web Design 1, you can find this downloadable set of all card images. And if you download this, and then open it, and I'm going to show it in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open that particular project file. You'll notice that it has in here a whole bunch of cards. There's, I think, 12 in total. All right. And you can use all these. You can just copy and paste this HTML. So if you want to, you can copy all this HTML right here and paste it into your document, or all of these if you'd like. And then you can also use all the images here that are selected. All right, so every single one of these images, and they all come from Unsplash. So if you want to use the images that are part of the tutorial, they're all right here, OK? So you'll be able to follow along and use exactly the same code if you want. Um, and so with that HTML, there is some core CSS, but it's not all the CSS to this point. It just has the base CSS. So if you'd like to also use the same base CSS that I'm using, which includes the import URL for the font, the same, the root with the color variables, um, and my reset and base typography, you're welcome to use those as well, as well as the basic page layout. But all the card layout is not included in this download. All right. So once you've downloaded and pasted them in, and if you're up to date and ready to go, your page should look like this. And you see um, a bunch of cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 12. All right. And all of them are labeled with the main. Um, with the one exception of the feature hero. All right. And what we need to do is we have three more cards to build. If we look at our final version, up top here, this one is just simply the feature. All right. It's card dash feature. There's no hero described. This one right here, this is the main dash primary. Okay which is very similar to the main uh, the main one, except it's just 50-50. And then we have our main dash secondary cards. And this is the only card in which the media box is going to be actually uh, hidden. So you won't see the media box, as well as obviously the slug's not there as well. So let's get started on these. We're going to do our feature first. OK? So remembering how our process works, if we look at our CSS and after we've done our organizing. So we always start by looking at the what the flex direction should be. So so we can see both of these at the same time. Let's set this first card to feature. All right. And we're about to make that class. Okay. So we want it also to be column because if you look at the final version, you can see it's also column where these are row, media box to body box, media box to body box. These are in a column, these are in a row. So we want this one to also be dot card dash feature, OK? Because we want that also to be um, in a column. And so that's our base setting of flex direction for all of the card. But we also want to make sure that if you'll notice, 
in this particular box there is no bottom line here all right so there's lines at the bottom separators for all our cards these gray lines are actually part of the main card CSS so if we look at the CSS you can see that this main card has this border bottom and a pat um, that gives this transparent I'm sorry this little solid gray bottom so we have to actually make sure we remove that by selecting dot card feature on its own and then setting the border bottom color to just transparent so we want to leave it there so it doesn't screw up the spacing but we're just going to make it transparent so you don't see it and then we're going to see the padding uh, top also is zero because this has no padding if you think about it at the top here there's no padding up here all right so we keep moving along and next within our card media section so we've labeled our card media and we're going to have to make a change to our card media and we need to make sure that this card media and we'll put it we're going to put all of our card uh, feature pieces just above card feature here so we'll say card dash feature and we're going to say dot card and descend into card media all right so that we're selecting only the card media div within card features and we're going to make sure that the width of the media is a hundred percent all right because we want to make sure that this media box takes up a hundred percent of the space where this one takes up only fifty percent of the space right and this one takes up a hundred percent of the space where this one takes up thirty percent of the space we want to make sure that that media box takes up a hundred percent of the space okay and to set the height remember we're using uh, the padding top to set heights of images because the image is effectively set as a background all right using the object fit um, properties so with that it at 75 percent we can start to look to see what's happening all right and oh we didn't save the index the HTML first so let's save this and we can already see there's some changes made so now it's across it's taking up the whole space it's in a column all right and we're on the right track okay and the height seems about right this height so because remember if we go here and we set we'll go to the card media within there this padding top value right here this gives us our height so if it were a lot less we could make it a lot smaller so in my you know previous version when I built this 75 percent seemed to be a good height okay Um, moving onward, we're going to go into the card body and make a, adjustments to the feature version of the card body. So by default, the card body is a column and it has some padding. Okay, And this is where the big difference was the feature here is that position of the card body was absolutely positioned, so it was on top of the image itself. Well, we're definitely not going to be doing that, but we just also want to just ensure that even though the default would be to take 100%, we're still going to be more explicit. We're going to just say that it takes that entire 100%. So we'll say card dash feature and then descend select into the card body and make sure that width is 100%. And the padding inside the card body, this is actually important. So the padding does take up a bunch of spaces to REM all right and if you save this you can see it's because we want a lot of space around here right if you look at the final version there's a bunch of space around padding all the way in the interior of the of the card body box so if we go up top all right you can see there all that green represents the padding all right and so we need that padding on this version as well right and so you see that same padding okay and the rest is the typography um, and a little and uh, also you'll note we 
we get rid of the date as well. All right, so just a few more things. So we're going to adjust some typography and just adjust the the fact that the, we're not going to be displaying the date. All right, so this date needs to disappear. But we're almost done with our card feature. So we'll move on to within the title to make our adjustments. So the card category is basically the same, so we're not going to make any adjustments to the the category. All right. The only one that has a real difference, if you look at all the cards, it's only the feature one that has a real difference. So this one where, so this is the category if you don't remember. All right, they're pretty much the same everywhere with the exception of this one. That's very, very different. So if you look at the final version, you'll note the category is basically the same everywhere. So we're not gonna be adjusting that other than for the, we did for the, the feature hero where it sits on top and it has this background color and change in color of the text. So for the most part, we get to ignore that one, and we get to move on to the title adjustments where we're going to be making things a little bit bigger. All right, so we go down to the card title, all right, and we would say dot card feature dot card title, and then we have to make sure we do the link as well, card feature dot card title um, sorry dot card dot title link sorry title link and then finally dot card feature and descend select into the title link title link with the focus pseudo class selected all right and we'll make our couple adjustments. We adjust the font size. All right, and make it a bit bigger because it is the feature that is the first thing people would see on the site. And we're gonna have more, some more line height uh, correspondingly. And these are all our rem units where, based on our reset, uh, each rem represents 10 pixels right now. And we'll have a little more padding at the bottom of one rem unit or 10 pixels. Okay? And you can see that's starting to get a lot bigger as it should. All right? And then just a couple more adjustments and we'll be done with our card title. We're gonna change the slug size as well. I think we make that a teeny bit bigger. So moving into our slug area. So we'll do card feature and then dot card slug, descending selecting into the slug of the card feature divs. And we'll change the font size here to 1.5 rem the line height to 2.1 rem and the padding at the bottom to 1.5 rem. All right, so just a little extra. We're making this type size a bit bigger and a little extra uh, spacing between the slug and the byline below it. And so finally, we need to make the byline a bit bigger and we need to get rid of the um, date. So the byline, actually I don't know if we're adjusting the byline size for this particular card, but instead we are adjusting the author. We wanna make sure that if you'll notice in, um, right now there is the border, right? to the right that's gray, okay? And so you have this little border here that's gray, and you can see it in the main one, and you can also see it in here even though it turns to white. But in our remaining three cards, you can see not only it's not there as well as the date is gone. So no date, no line, no date, no line. So we're gonna use that same trick where we don't wanna screw up the spacing. So we're gonna just make it transparent, all right? So 
for those particular cards so we'll say dot card feature and we'll descend into the card author and what we're going to just do for those and we're going to say the border right color is just going to be transparent okay and you can see now the line is gone but we also now just need to make sure that the date is not visible and so the final change we need to make to this particular card is to move into the date area all right and we'll say dot card feature descend into the card date and say display none okay and now pretty much we're done with that card feature okay and so any of these could be changed into the feature by adding so let's turn this other one into feature so we could turn this one into main all right and then the one below it with the owl into feature all right so you can see how our system of a primary class card and then a descending class card feature is used to make our adjustments to the particular aspects. So we can use CSS across cards that are shared, but then make changes where necessary. And we'll stop there and we'll go on to our main primary and main secondary in our next video.